Hi and welcome to Why Budget. My name is Krista Bixke and I am here to help you boost your desire to make your money count. In my previous video, I have talked about how I discovered that people, or in my case me, spend more money when we are bored than when we are not. And I also shared how I challenged myself to spend less of my money by spending my time wiser. However, one of the big personality flaws that I have to overcome every day of my life is my moodiness. To me, each day is a mood game. I mean, I am sure that I am not the only one like that, but it is hard to say because I have lived with a man for the last 11 years who is the definition of steadiness. He doesn't have big lows or big heights. He's just well all the time. I mean, it must be quite boring, but for sure a lot easier to manage than my ever-changing emotions. And over the years, I have learned that in order to win this mood game and come out of it on top, I have to be good to myself and help and encourage myself the best I can, because if I don't, very easily I can find myself in an emotional pity pool just floating around waiting for rescue. You see, my problem is me. If I sleep till late or forget to reply to a text I got from a friend or leave my house messy or snap at Aaron for no reason or just not making the kind of progress that I would like to, I get disappointed with myself. Deeply disappointed. Disappointed to a point that I don't even want to do anything worthwhile for the rest of the day. I know. It is silly really, but it is what it is and because I know that it is like that, I try to prevent it from happening. So what I do is I just appreciate any good that I can think about myself. While still snoozing, I play on my phone a motivational audiobook from a fantastic writer called Seth Godin. So in 15 minutes into listening to him, I can't wait to face a new day. I make my bed and praise myself for it with a big well done Krista. Before I start to work I try to do something creative like writing because I am a morning person and that is the time when I find myself to be the most productive. If I don't do that I am a bit disappointed already because I feel like I missed an opportunity and I have to wait till the evening to be able to catch up with it but by then I am not in the mood. Then I write a to-do list for the day and I break down the task in details and try to do most of them in the early part of the day so that I can spend the rest of my working hours with a satisfied feeling that I have achieved something already with my day. Maybe cleaning, meal prep, exercise, reaching out to a friend or learning. I know, I am aware that it is a bit strange but I think being self-aware helps me create and shape the life I love to live because I can work around my weaknesses and use my strength. I found it is a lot easier to manage my money when I can find ways to manage myself. Thank you for listening. If you like this video then please give it a like and I would love to hear your thoughts or experiences about the subject as well, so please share them with me in the comment section. And don't forget to look out for my next video in which I'm going to share why I purposefully flee commercials and definitely check out my Why Budget Facebook residence if you need that bit of an extra boost. Bye!